Okay, so for intro to derivatives, um, we're, I'm going to define this thing called the derivative, and we're going to talk a little bit more about tangent lines. Okay, so if you think about a line, it has the same slope all the way through that line. But when you get to something like a parabola, the slope is constantly changing. So right here, the slope is negative. We'll say negative 5, negative 4, negative 3. And then right there, we get down to slope of 0, and then, then we have a positive slope. Okay, so there's different slopes at different points. All right, however, like at any given point, we can say that there is a tangent line, and the slope of that tangent line, we can say is the slope of the function, okay, at that point of tangency. All right, so looking down here at this, we're going to kind of define what a derivative is. Okay, first of all, I'm going to change that to x. I'm going to say that this space right here is h. So if this is x and we add over h, I'm going to call this second x value x plus h. All right, now we're going to look over to the y's. So for, you know, if I kind of go like that, we have a y value of f of x, not the function, but the y value at that point. And then same thing over here, this would be the y value f of x plus h. Okay, so if I wanted to find the slope between these two points, that would actually be a secant line. Okay, and so this would be the average rate of change. Okay, we call this a rock. This would be a secant line. Notice that there are two points. And if I wanted to find the slope here, I would just do y2 minus y1, just using slope formula, over x2 minus x1. And so we'd have x plus h minus x, and then notice that the x's actually end up canceling. So we're left with just h in the denominator. Now, if I want this h to get really small, like really, really small, so that x plus h creeps over, creeps over, at this point creeps over, creeps over, so that basically it was just right here at this value, we would no longer have a secant line. What we would have, and I'm, gonna, I'm doing this color coded, so the red was all that a rock. This would be our instantaneous rate, rate of change, okay? Or we call this I rock. This would be a tangent line, and we would only have one point that we would deal with. So the difference is the slope here, since I, I can't, I'm going to use my slope formula, but if I want h to get really small, I'm going to take the limit as h approaches 0, and I'm just going to use right from before. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And again, the x's end up canceling out. Okay, this right here is what we are going to call the limit definition of a derivative. All right. That's it for intro.